On Tuesday, April 16th, the sun is going to move into the gate three and the earth is going to move into the gate 50. So the sun in the gate three, the gate three is known as ordering in traditional human design and innovation in quantum human design. It's all the way at the bottom of the sacral center and it's in the knowing circuit. So it's individual circuitry. And it is the place where the energy from the knowing circuit has come in and split, gone around the two sides of the body and it starts to come back up through the central channel. And it is the energy for saying, okay, we're going to, receive from the gate 60 uh, the energies that are coming through the knowing circuit and the gate 60 which is its mate on the root center has already sorted through what's of value moving forward that's the role of the gate 60 is to be like okay what's a value all the different things all the different downloads epiphanies insights potentials and so on that's coming through that knowing circuit what's really going to be a value and so the 60 has decided that and it's moved it on to the gate three and then the three is going to innovate with it now it's also known as difficulty in the beginning which is the I Ching and it it makes sense because innovation you know can be difficult at the beginning right I mean you're trying to innovate and do something new uh, with something that already exists, because that's what innovation is, is it's not creating something completely new out of thin air, right? It is, it's about innovating something that already exists. And so, while the sun is lighting this up, you can be taking a look at what are the innovations that I have been putting off. Hopefully, with the last transit, you would have Finish some things up, decided, you know, that there are certain things that maybe, okay, I'm complete on that. It may not have ever gotten to completely finished, but I'm done with it. I'm done. So you've cleared that off. And so you might have a little more space. And now you're like, okay, now what am I going to innovate? So this can be really fun and exciting. And, you know, take some stress off of it. Don't make it have a lot of work to do, you know, like it's going to make you money or it's going to be a huge, you know, contribution. <laughs> <laughs> to humanity. I mean, it may be those things, but just take the weight off of it and have fun innovating. The three is resting on the earth in the gate 50. So the gate 50, again, on the spleen center, you can see we're romping through the spleen center here. And it is um, the gate of values in traditional human design and the gate of nurturing in quantum human design. So this is part of the tribal circuit, but it's not part of that commerce or community circuit. It's actually part of the defense circuit or the sustainability circuit, which I really think of as like the family circuit, because those two channels, um, the 5027 and the 596 that go from the sacral out to the spleen center on one side and the emotional solar plexus on the other, okay? That those are really have to do with our close in relationships. They have to do with our family, whether those are siblings, parents, kids, cousins, people close in, or chosen family, like our, our good friends, the people who, you know, are meaningful for us in our lives, but there are close in relationships. And the 50 is this beautiful energy. It's a teaching energy. It is a nurturing energy, and it is is an energy about values in the sense that it helps us to understand who we are as a people. How, what are the standards of behavior by which we live? What are the things that we agree to and we don't agree to that are kind of tribal, right? Like in our family, for example, we say a blessing that uh, my kid learned in Waldorf school when they were in kindergarten. They're now 22. But there's a song that we learned back when Sam was in kindergarten, and we still sing it every night before we have dinner. And we call it our blessing. And um, my kid is as dedicated to it as I am. And this is part of how we know who we are as a people is, is that we have this ritual. It is a song that is giving gratitude to Mother Earth and Father Sky and is just really saying thank you for all of the blessings and all of the abundance that we receive that comes from the garden. And so that's just a super simple example, but I think it is something that goes along with other values that I have wanted to pass on to my kit. So that's part of this energy of the 50. Now the 50, like all the spleen gates, also has a fear. And the fear of the gate 50 is the fear of letting people down. 
So you can imagine, right, in your family, how we get really connected and we know ourselves to be part of a tribe. We know ourselves to be part of some kind of family. And of course, in tribal circuitry, we say what's good for, for the community is pri priority, okay? And so, sometimes if we're like, yeah, but me as an individual, I want something different, or I want to do something different, or I don't necessarily want to do the things that the rest of the family want to do, or whatever it is, or even I have a belief that goes in a different direction than the one I was brought up with, or the one that my family still holds, right? And you want to do something different. You want to believe something different. You know, this happens with politics sometimes with family. It happens with food, happens with culture, right? Where you, in the next generation, people have different ideas, the world is different. And, um, and so then we're like, yeah, you know, and I don't really kind of align with all those values like I once did. Uh, but the fear of that can be the fear of letting people down. It's like, oh, you know, I'm going to go off in a different direction. Will they still love me? Right? You know, or if I choose not to participate in this thing that I've always participated in, you know, I'm not going to go to that 4th of July weekend again because X, Y, or Z, you know, whatever it is. And then the fear of letting people down. And this can really get in the way for people when they have a lot of individual circuitry. Uh, or here we have individual circuitry lit up by the sun in the gate three. So you might feel a little bit of conflict between what the 50 is asking you to focus on for the tribe and what the three is asking you to focus on, which is for the evolution of you as an individual and also for the evolution of humanity. So take a look at if you're starting to feel any kind of creative tension between these two um, gates that are being lit up by the sun and the earth during this time. And do your best just to honor the the value and the, the blessing that both of them have to give and uh, expand it to be the space for both of them to provide what they have to provide and not try to make them uh, either completely like each other because they're not and they won't ever be or to say one is right uh, more right than the other because that's not really true either. The best we can do when we have this kind of creative tension is really learn how to dance with it, right? Learn how to dance with it. It just refuse to polarize and refuse to judge and say one is right and one is wrong. Just be like, how can I expand to be the space for all of it?